Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. In the next few tutorials, I'm going to be demonstrating different methods for making selections and isolating images. Now, there are many different methods to do this, and each has its own set of pros and cons. So today, I will be showing the pros and cons of using the Magic Wand tool. So to get started, we're going to open up Photoshop. And as you can see, I have an image of a soccer ball in a hand. And what the Magic Wand tool is good for is taking an image that has a solid background or a close to solid background. And what I mean by close to solid is like um, just like almost a solid blue or almost a solid green or something like that um, where it has just a little bit of variation within it. And you take that and you can select out images very easily with the Magic Wand. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to first double click the background layer to make it a workable layer. And then I'm going to grab the Magic Wand tool. And you can find that over here on the left in the tools, about four uh, tools down. Looks like a little star type shape for the Magic Wand. And now that we have that, up here you can see that we have uh, different settings. We have uh, anti-alias and some other different check boxes. And then you have this box here called the tolerance. Now if you have um, the tolerance uh, set up higher, what it's going to do is it's going to select colors that are, like say that we want to select the background here. I'm just going to click, make a selection. You can see that when I click, it's going to select all the background, which is white, where I clicked. And it's also going to start taking some of the soccer ball and making that part of the selection. You can see it comes somewhat right in here onto the soccer ball if I zoom in there. So we don't want this. And what it's going to do is if we move the tolerance up, like let's say I make it closer to 100, I'll just deselect, and I'll make another selection. You can see it even moves farther into the soccer ball. And what this is doing is when you set the tolerance up, um, it has a tolerance for colors that are white and close to white. And since the soccer ball is almost white, it's going to start selecting those colors as well. So what we want to do is take and move the tolerance down. So we'll put it at something like 16 or maybe 8 or something. When we deselect and then we can take and make a new selection, you can see that it takes and puts it just around the soccer ball and just around the hand, and it's not going into the soccer ball at all because it has a lower tolerance for colors um, that are close to white. So it's going to just select the white background. So now what we can do is we can take and right click and go to layer via cut, and we can turn off the white, and you can see that we have a very nice um, isolated hand and soccer ball. Now with colors um, such as this hand, if we tried to just select the hand out, um, it would be much harder because you can see that there's many variations in, in uh, color within the hand. You can see that there's some shadows, um, some different highlights and things like that. And the magic wand doesn't handle those um, specific colors very well. Now you can adjust the tolerance in order to get a pretty good selection and then uh, touch it up with other methods. Um, but the magic wand is uh, better used to select the background. So if you ever have the chance, it's always better to try and select out a background than to try and select out the images um, with the magic wand. Now, if you have an image that's almost solid and you want to take and use the magic wand, in that case, that would be okay. But in this case, it would be much easier to take out the background as we did than to take out the image. So. Uh, I hope you guys learned something with this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment because I'm going to be having a new tutorial um, in the next week about making selections with a different type of tool. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and thanks for watching.